So now it's time to start the second part of our day, the Kamok Assembly. Over the next 45 minutes, more or less, we will review uh, what Kamok has done uh, since our meeting in Kyoto last December, the challenges we have faced and the plans for future activity. The information we will share is primarily meant to inform our members about the community's work, but also to present come up to present uh, uh, what we do to other colleagues who might be interested to join in, either by choosing to be Kamok members or uh, choosing Kamok as one of their committees of interest. So all of the viewers, all the participants are most welcome to follow the second part. And just uh, like in the first part of the day, there is a possibility to submit questions via Google form. And finally, uh, we'll give floor of our upcoming annual meetings. Uh, at the end, we will tackle our for the future and respond your questions, of course. Joanne, I now invite you to give us an overview of the main aspects of Kamok's work. Okay. Um, one of the most important things uh, we would like to share with you all, with um, Kamok uh, members, board members, with Kamok members uh, at large, and also with those who are not Kamok members yet, but can be very soon, uh, is that the CEREC, um, which is the um, group for the evaluation of the performance of ICOM's committees, national committees, international committees, and special projects, um, uh, evaluated Kamok again. conference and Frankfurt and Lisbon workshop and now um, that also belong to the Barcelona group which is the European network of history city museums um, and that some of them are also very active in, in Camoc like Jan uh, Geshov and, and others and some other some some don't which is also very good to have two platforms of discussion and, and of learning from each other but there is yeah, one uh, begun, person that I must um, devote my gratefulness um, 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 special, which uh, is uh, Elena Savic, uh, as you, you, you all know, it's not a surprise. Yes, Sarah, clap, clap. Elena is everything, she does everything, she's absolutely wonderful, uh, much more than a very efficient secretary. So thank you, Elena, again. And you can please uh, show me the next slide because I Thank you. This is uh, these are the criteria for you to know how uh, our, we has been also still um, uh, very much connected with our work in the, in the website, doing lots of great things. Uh, the inclusive approach, the cooperation with other ICOM committees, international committees, national and region, regional.
of city museums, the future of city museums. We have been working about uh, that theme since Moscow, since a long time now. And uh, especially since the Frankfurt conference and the, um, the, the, the special um, session we had there, we have been working very uh, thoroughly on this. And we decided last year, um, among many of us in this group, and also with Francesca, a, a, uh, a researcher that is helping a lot to write down um, the future survey with the Taiwan um, team, with the cooperation of, again, Jenny. Um, and we hope, even with the pandemic, that we, of course, will um, let this project be a little delayed. Uh, but we hope to um, deliver this um, as a very important uh, work for city museums across the world, um, either uh, CAMOC members or not. So we are um, working with um, the Taiwan National University of Education and uh, with uh, Francesca Lanz and also um, with Comcall and ASPAC. Uh, to uh, have a uh, future guide and that allow us and that digital and also a book later on that will allow us to know or to have a wider perspective and inclusive perspective of which type and when, where are they and how are they of city museums in the world today at least the museums that see themselves as city museums and their mission goals uh, and, and um, way they conceptually see themselves in the framework of museums and in the framework of urban studies and of historic museums and all that. So we, we, we really um, uh, hope to get very interesting results to our work uh, also. Next, please. So the, the uh, general goals are the following ones. So to further identify city museums in the world in their diversity, we, we are not looking to, for having one type of city, the right city museums, not that. It's inclusive and white and um, better recognize and follow the current trends in city museums and have the guidebook already mentioned to share findings uh, about what is uh, now, what is turning to uh, the city museum around the whole globe. Next, please. Financially, uh, we were granted the first um, year and we will try to, um, to spend it um, in the ways that are possible now at least in the researcher, with the research team and with the um, uh, National University Taiwan team, not only for the research, but also for the, pre the technical preparations for the survey, the construction of the survey itself. The rest of the items are, uh, will have to wait for next year, which is something that, of course, ICOM understands. Elena, thank you. So uh, this project had and, and still has uh, two, um, one annual workshop. We were supposed to have a physical workshop um, in Taiwan and um, or in other places in Asia. And, uh, and now we are not sure if we have time to do that and in South Africa or, or in South Africa. But uh, anyway, we will try to have an on-site or online workshop about the conceptualization of the city museums and international trends in Asia and in South Africa in uh, 2021 and 2022, along with the conferences, the annual conferences that of course surpassed the, the goals of the special projects in itself. So um, the first year's activities were extended until December next year. Uh, and we'll do our best to just keep going and and to um, 
and try to not to have the same schedule as previous, but not to widen it up, uh, to, to delay it too long and to just look, look, uh, lose track of it. That would be not, really not, not very um, damaging to our goal. So we'll do our very best to keep doing it on schedule as far as possible. Next, please. So, um, City Museum. Then um, also in December in the wonderful city of Krakow, where we'll, we will have to go next year, Michal, no matter what, of, or maybe just some of us, but anyway, we will have to do it in a hybrid way or whatever. The City Museum Conference um, at the Museum of Krakow, which was about um, the Museum of Lisbon's last year's uh, evolution and changing and then uh, also my participation in a, in an online uh, heritage matters webinar event uh, organized by the inclusive museum next please annual conferences so um the 2020 crack of conference was not possible to host to organize, but we will try to uh, do it soon, as we will see. Uh, we would like to stress anyway that for the um, uh, call for proposals and the, the first um, month organizing this conference, we got to see that it, it was going to, to be extremely successful. We got 70 proposals uh, coming from five continents um increasing geographical uh, diversity of members wanting to participate and also we had we had uh, planned uh, five uh, grants which of course we couldn't uh, perform uh, we had these sessions participation locality and the main theme who has the right to the city in connection to the concepts the right uh, of the right to the city urban revitalization and confronting post truth which is a theme that Michal Zabitowski likes very much plus specialized visits to museums of course and sites in Krakow as usual in this type of conferences and we will look, we are looking very much forward to this Then, with the pandemic, um, we uh, thought of uh, not changing it, but adding this to a uh, um, adding to this a, a another session about the uh, results of the pandemic or the impact the pandemic was having in city museums, which we didn't want to abandon, and that's why we had this webinar today, only about this uh, very time. The, the evolution of the pandemic itself, not only in, in Poland, but in the rest of the world. Well, this happened today, as we all know. Uh, so this will be the first time uh, we had a webinar and the first time the assembly goes online. And so we, will, we are, as everybody else, uh, adapting to, to these uh, restrictions we have, but keeping alive and keeping working, keep on working is what counts. 
Okay. So, Elena thank, is you, now thank you very much, Joanna. Okay. I will now take over to give a few comments about the financial report and discharge for Kamak. So here we have a succinct information regarding the Kamak finances. Looking at the data from 2019, you will notice that our budget is relatively modest. We received the subsidy from ICOM of about 9,500 euros. And if you look carefully, it turns out that we spent much more than we received, over 16,000 euros. How is that possible? Well, it's thanks to the funds we had available from the previous years, and also uh, very much thanks to the in-kind contributions the very valuable services and work that we did not have to pay. For example, the organization of our last year's workshop in Lisbon and for the organization costs of the Kyoto conference, we received in-kind support worth almost 7,800 euros. Our main expenses, as the table shows, were for the organization of events and for publications, and we are very proud to highlight that we helped several committee members, especially young members, to attend our conference and the workshop through bursaries. Last year, a large portion of our budget, almost 3,500 euros, went for that purpose. We ended the fiscal year with just 1,196 euros on our account, which is actually very good in the eyes of the ICON Secretariat and SAREC, because it means we have successfully planned, funded, and implemented many activities. For 2020, the situation is, as you may imagine, a bit different. The table shows that we projected a total income of 23,200 euros, and exactly the same amount for activities and expenses, but the pandemic disrupted our plans. We could not hold the 2020 conference in Krakow, so there is no revenue from the conference registration. On the other hand, there were no conference uh, organization expenses and uh, we could not uh, really award the travel grants. We directed the funds towards the publications and the research activities to that because even though a committee member may be in a good standing, that information is not often reflected right away in the IRIS membership database maintained by the ICOM Secretariat. But since we get notified when a new member joins CAMOC, we could make an estimate for this assembly by adding these new members to 516 members we already had in 2019. What really matters and is truly rewarding for us is that the trend of growing membership continues and that more and more colleagues are interested and involved in CAMAC. And now uh, let's quickly address the new communication strategy. In 2020, we got a brand new website as it was required by ICOM. Our colleagues Jenny Chiu and also Ian Jones put a lot of effort and skills and many hours into this and the site is still a work in progress. At the moment we still have the old site as well but it will have to be deactivated uh, very soon. So we're in transition right now. Another very important way of communication for CAMOC is the Facebook page, which is highly active and successful, again, thanks to Jenny. Jenny has extraordinary experience in this area, which comes from her engagement within the ICOM Kyoto. 
organization and she applied it to the communication strategy for CAMOC. If we look at the indicators at the top of the page, we can easily say, uh, see it's a, a great success. Our main communication channels are the website, Facebook, and also Instagram, which, as this image shows, doubled the number of followers. As I mentioned, the new website is still a work in progress and we'll be focusing on the transition from the old site and reinforcing the resources pages and previous conference pages. Also, the Global City Museum Mapping Project will have its own website and will continue sharing information, being present and connected with our colleagues through social media. Now let's follow with a quick overview of publications since Kyoto 2019. We are very proud of this one, the Book of Proceedings with its 22 original texts, which is the tangible outcome of our last year's meeting in Japan. The main language is English, but thanks to our Jenny Chu, again, we also have Japanese versions of all abstracts in the book. We have established the trend over the past few years to focus on digital publications because it's the easiest way to reach the highest possible number of researchers, experts, and all the others who are interested in cities and their museums. So this ebook is available from our website and it's free of charge. The same goes for the Kamok Museums of Cities Review, our quarterly publication, which you can also download from the Kamok website. In 2020, there have been significant disruptions in our planning. And so far, uh, we managed to prepare these two digital issues and plan one more issue until the year's end. Just as a reminder, we also have the complete archive since 2011 which is available uh, from our website. So uh, this would be the secretary's report. And now uh, let's uh, look into our next meetings in Krakow and in Barcelona. For this, I will give again the floor to our hosts, Michal Niezabitowski and Juan Roca. First, I invite Michal. Thank you. Thank you so much, Helena. Uh, as you see on example of today's webinar, we as museum team, we are ready to lead a uh, conference online. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for my brilliant team, for Paweł, Krzysztof, the head of my office and other colleagues, because they efforts many to to, 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 to my possibility to, to meet. But of course, uh, Juan said about decalogues and about 10 points. I think that we need 11 point, uh, the meeting revolution. Uh, I think that the meeting is much more important for us. Of course, we meet together now, but uh, it will be wonderful and brilliant after our meet to go together uh, uh, cafe for a glass of beer or something else. So that's why um, we are ready as Museum of Krakow. Uh, June was fired. October, just now it's October, and today we have 16,000 uh, infected in Poland. So the situation is not clear, but we hope that February, uh, will be possible to host you. February is not such a beautiful uh, month in uh, Poland like June, but we are open. Maybe our social program will have to change. Maybe we are obliged, this is not uh, my responsibility, my own responsibility, this is our responsibility as board. Maybe we uh, have to emphasize uh, the COVID situation in our program, but we have program. Joanna said about it a few minutes uh, before. So the program exists. 
we are ready. Of course, our financial situation, as I said, is not so clear, but we are still ready to be host. And um, I am, I want to say I am 100% convinced, but I am not 100% convinced. I am quite 100% convinced that we will meet in Krakow in February. Uh, so uh, the COVID situation of course is very flexible so we have to we have to count uh, each day the situation and we have to find the deadline Joanna uh, about uh, after which day we have to postpone the next time and what we, we may what we have to do if the situation in Europe will be uh, worse because just now the, the center of uh, pandemic it's a Europe so um, we have to uh, think about it. February, I hope situation will be better. We are ready. We are waiting for you. We miss for you. And we are still ready uh, for, uh, for a meeting. Uh, I, I don't have more uh, words to say. I think it's enough. Thank you so much, Michal. And 2021 is already uh, around the corner. And we had uh, planned uh, our annual conference in, in a regular situation without the pandemics in Barcelona. So I would like to invite uh, our uh, Barcelona host, Juan Roca, to share his thoughts. And uh, there are some slides to accompany. Uh, uh, his uh, speech. Yes, perhaps you could put uh, the first slide, please. I'm going to share them right away. Well, uh, first of all, Michal, you are not right. In February, Krakow is fantastic. Krakow is always fantastic. I have been there in January in summer, in spring, so don't worry. We will go to Krakow if possible. Look, we met in Krakow two weeks ago, defying uh, COVID, uh, Michal and myself, and we decided with Joanna permission that we would find the way to connect Krakow, Barcelona, Kamok, all the city museums, whatever ever it happens. So I am quite happy that finally in Barcelona we decided as logo these two cities dancing as you can see on a map. Two cities dancing on a map is a symbol of what could be many many cities dancing on a map. The world is made of cities and other kinds of settlements not only states. So, so said, connecting cities, connecting citizens towards a shared sustainability, Barcelona 2021, we would like to do it from the 7th to the 9th of October 2021, is after all, Joanna said it, a continuity uh, that from Frankfurt, where we talk about city museum's definition, to Kyoto, where we talk about city museums as cultural hubs, to Krakow, where we talk about city museums and the right to the city. Let's go to Barcelona to talk about how to connect cities, to connect citizens, and to think that after all, we have to go towards a shared sustainability, because sustainability is not nature is also social. Sustainability is a social and democratic project or it will not be. That's what we have to learn. Everything is ready in Krakow and everything is ready in Barcelona. We even have a very nice video that we will uh, post in our web page uh, very soon. The objective of the meeting in Barcelona will be to show how the network of cities can be the basis of a shared and sustainable world and how city museums can be the hub that 
based on heritage, brings together cultural dialogue, social cohesion, and economic promotion. From its consideration as a center of knowledge, city museums are centers of knowledge, of dialogue, and of city promotion. The city museum thus becomes a museum of citizenship. That's what I tried to say before, from city museum to citizens museum. Our museum, MUBA, is a good place to talk about all this due to its tradition as an historical research center open to society. We really mix people from the university to the faraway quarters together, and that works. And because of its configuration, you can put the second, please, a slide. Of its configuration as a network museum, which is exhibition rooms spread over 15 heritage spaces through the city, forming cultural nodes with broad citizen participation. So we think that we are midway between urban policy and cultural policy. That's why we use the instruments of uh, urban planning. Uh, Patrick Getz, uh, Jets did also that uh, to think about the future. And Barcelona could host this debate. Uh, look, after all, as you know, the urban planning of Cerda 150 years ago was intended to create a modern city. And which were its basement was connections, health, and equity. So solidarity, health, and world connected was already the plan 150 years ago. Barcelona was industrial, now it's been a touristical city, and uh, since uh, the pandemic, the debate has increased about our future as global metropolis and as the national capital of Catalonia. In 2021, when you will come, I hope, we will go to Krakow, then we will find a way to go to Barcelona, uh, many months after, it will be, Barcelona will be the world capital of sustainable food with a great exhibition in the museum on power, food and health. Power, food, health. We eat really that. And that exhibition will be there near our uh, meeting room. So, uh, to finish with, uh, we are waiting for you in Barcelona at the beginning of October 2021 to talk about connecting cities, connecting citizens towards a shared sustainability. We are not scared by COVID. We will overcome it. We will establish bridges between Krakow in February and Barcelona in October. These bridges could be multiplied in the future to work together. So now, uh, Yelena, the last uh, images, please, from the very uh, kitchen of a popular quarter, which is now part of the museum in the faraway suburbs of Barcelona. Next one. To the want, to the will of having monuments in city center, which is rooted to the need of past in contemporary times. And finally, uh, next one, please to the sustainable city, which is not only green, but it's a social project. I think that from, as I said, from Frankfurt to Kyoto, to Krakow, to Barcelona, there is really a, a continuity, thanks to the work uh, of all of us. And I would be very grateful. I must be very grateful to the work done by Joanna, Yelena, and the come up team, so that we can do that with, as she said, with our, our, our uh, City Museums Network of Europe all together. So let's go to Krakow and let's come to Barcelona. Don't miss the point. That's it. Thank you so much, Joanne, for this uh, passionate presentation, for this invitation, and we definitely have so much to look forward to, to our meetings uh, in two wonderful cities in Krakow and in Barcelona. 
Now I will just uh, invite Joanna to quickly reflect on the future plans of our board. And for that, we have uh, also uh, visual materials. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Uh, just a, a couple of final slides. Um, uh, just for you to know um, that ICOM has just launched um, some weeks ago a, a new I ICOM Solidarity Projects Fund um, grants uh, focused specifically on the effects of the pandemic. And so opening um, funding grants to new projects and to a new line of projects. Uh, we are not, uh, at least not for now, not yet thinking of uh, designing any, another project specifically focused on this theme, because we already have a lot on our plate to do. But if any of you would like to um, think of this and uh, uh, for Hammock to, to bid for it, as long as that person or that group of people would be responsible for the organization of the project, we will be very happy to listen to your ideas. Of course, uh, the pursuing with the City Museum Mapping Project is a challenge in itself uh, in this context, but we will keep doing it as, um, as you have uh, heard before, the always the, the attention to the need to uh, avoid the um, overly focused uh, uh, activities in Europe. So act in Asia, in Africa, in uh, the Americas as much as possible, uh, physically, digitally, you know, research, um, anyway. And now, expanding the network, of course, and activi actively involving more members, it's always there. It's uh, a common and, and permanent goal in everything we do. And uh, the con con continuation of the publication and dissemination of the committee's work, either by keeping up the great um, Yelena's and Bingo's and other people's work uh, with the Camac Museums of Cities review and the space of having all the conferences, uh, all the conferences contents. Uh, published in uh, digital uh, books of proceedings, which is really in the last three years, but it wasn't, it wasn't always like this. So it's a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of hours spent, but uh, we know it's, uh, it, it is really, really important to have the research results and um, presentation results on, um, if not the paper, at least the web. Or the PF, and exploring ways to continue the legacy also of the Migration Cities project. We tried to keep it going, but it was has not been easy. And we must all remember that all of this work is um, done on a voluntary basis. So it's other than our museum work or our institution's work or our university's work and our uh, personal lives, of course. And so this is not easy. Anyway, um, as the Migration Cities Project is so important as a, um, a, a theme that will never uh, lose um, uh, currency and relevance, uh, if a, we will find, uh, any of you again, will find uh, ways to keep up the project in any form possible in the future, we will, we will be very, very happy to uh, provide all the support that will be possible for us to do. Now back to Elena, she, she has a very important um, thing to ask you. So to reinforce uh, one of the main aims of CAMOC, we wish to uh, call you uh, to collaborate with us to become more actively involved in the committee's work because 
we do so many interesting things and uh, we have so many ideas and opportunities but uh, we all have full-time jobs and any help uh, would be so very welcome and i think uh, for each one of you who wishes to participate it would be very rewarding so at any time you are most welcome to share information and news from your institutions the news from your museums or some interesting publications you come across exhibitions that happen that you know of conferences especially if, if uh, the information is not in english or portuguese or spanish or, or japanese that we can cover uh, all these inputs in other languages would also be very valuable so we need the most help in the communications team and also for the publications and if you're interested you can contact us in the next uh, days uh, and write us a note about the motivation and experience you have to these emails secretary or the come up communications team and if you have experience uh, with the projects and can help with the programs assisting the board uh, in developing some future projects programs for annual meetings for workshops for the response to different icon calls for projects you can also get in touch with us we expect your responses and we look forward to working together so now uh, i invite you to pose the questions or suggestions for us Do we have uh, any insights you'd like to share? Some final remarks? I'd, I'd like to say one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to say thank you for uh, Joanne because of such uh, the special perspective between Krakow and Barcelona. And I think that this circumstance when we have possibility, this is not sure because of COVID, but we have such possibility, such chance to prepare two conferences in 2021. I think that Christina said about the bridge. So the bridge is a bridge. It's a one, uh, how, to, how to say, one structure. So I think that is very, very important to rethink uh, activity of CAMOC between Krakow and Barcelona. How to, how to lead this energy from Krakow to Barcelona. Because uh, uh, after Krakow conference and after uh, Barcelona conference, maybe it's a good idea. I'm sorry, Juan, that I still uh, mention about your Decalogues, but I think there's a chance to the 12th point of Decalogues, the Kamok revolution. <laughs> Such special uh, energy between Kamok, between Krakow in one uh, year, after COVID, we hope after COVID, maybe not after COVID, maybe it will be coexistence with COVID, who knows. But I think it's a very uh, important responsibility to rethink this uh, break between Krakow and Barcelona, how to keep this energy in city museums. Uh, maybe I uh, not explain it clearly, but I think that it is a um, uh, good idea to discuss not only today, but also after our uh, assembly. Thank you. So I agree. Elena, uh, I, would, I would just like to add that uh, I think we will, we, we have the most important um, values here, which is uh, intelligent, creative people. 
and flexible enough to reinvent our programs and to do whatever it will be possible between Krakow and Barcelona and in between. So, um, and along with that, also the City Museum's global mapping. that well it's our last year of the second mandate well the last year will be uh, of course the 2022 but 21 will be the last year uh, without a, a the general icom big conference in prague due to to happen in to, to, to be happening in prague in 22 so uh, we will give whatever we have <laughs> of energy and and organization power and um, strategy and pragmatical thinking to make it happen. And we know we can count on both teams, Krakow team and Barcelona team, uh, to be um, very proactive, creative enough and flexible enough. So I hope we will... Our president, can I add something? That the straight way to go from Krakow to Barcelona is through Asia, Oceania, Africa, and America. So thanks to our virtual reality and our confinement, we can go from one city to the other through the whole world. Jules Verne in the 21st century. Good idea. Okay, you can, we can go on a Jules Verne mode. <laughs> Helena. So I'm very happy uh, we are ending uh, our meeting on such an optimistic note. Uh, it seems our time is up. And uh, so I'd like to thank all our panelists for sharing their insights and very optimistic uh, views about learning for the future. Our board members too. I'd like to uh, reinforce the invitation for all of you who are interested to join in uh, and uh, get more involved uh, in the CAMOX work. I'd like to thank the Krakow team for helping us with all the technicalities and promise that we will mitigate as much as possible the technical uh, issues in the beginning of the webinar. We really uh, are learning also this technical part as well. And to thank you all for joining us today and for being the part of our network. I hope we'll meet soon, not only online, but also in person, in these two, starting with these two wonderful cities, Krakow and Barcelona. And meanwhile, uh, be well, be safe, take care. Mm -hmm.